Okay, good evening. Uh, so today we will see one of the most interesting topic in uh, Python. Uh, it's very uh, used very widely uh, in different different uh, analysis. Uh, for example, like image uh, manipulations. So that we will be seeing uh, a part of this session. Uh, maybe not today, uh, tomorrow, or next or when the next session will be. Uh, so what exactly NumPy represents? NumPy is nothing but a numerical Python. It's a Python library. So actually Pandas, what I have worked till now is built on top of this uh, NumPy library. So these are the case studies. So actually the first uh, image of black hole is constructed using NumPy only. There is another library called uh, SciPy, which is useful for doing scientific calculations where most of the scientists use uh, SciPy. And even uh, for uh, detection of gravitational waves. And to say confirm, confirmation, like confirmable ego scientists using NumPy. So, so this is one of the most interesting uh, library in Python. So you can just uh, Google it about this case studies. And you can just to find out more on this case study, how NumPy has helped uh, to achieve this, uh, to determine this case study. Like. So let's go. So again, we I am saying Pandas is a high level data manipulation tool. So it is built on top of uh, this NumPy. Uh, NumPy actually, it's like a low level task. So it actually does serious mathematics. So math, math, math and calculations we can uh, do using NumPy, a very uh, serious uh, I mean to say calculus, uh, calculations or uh, matrix calculations or uh, any other uh, calculations, uh, mainly linear algebra calculations, uh, derivatives, you can uh, perform using NumPy library. So, but NumPy mainly, is used for uh, matrix uh, multiplication. So it's not like uh, our two dimensional matrix. It is a, a there is n dimensional matrix you can say or n dimensional arrays. So uh, we will be seeing that what exactly uh, n dimensional arrays. So how to access individual uh, array. It's individual how to create a one dimensional array, two dimensional array and three dimensional array. And we will be seeing how how uh, a image having how how much uh, like which how much dimensions it is there that, that we will be seeing. So how to do linear algebra with NumPy. So the how broadcasting or the broadcasting what is the concept of broadcasting in NumPy with NIRS that we will be seeing later and even uh, how to generate uh, points that you can plot on a chart. So this also will be seen later. And how to manipulate images. So this is another uh, one of the important uh, use case of uh, NumPy. So if I just go, for example, let me see here. So let me show you uh, the notebook we'll be using today. So this is uh, image. So it's like inversion of the colors. So it can actually uh, affect, so negative uh, effect uh, you can call it as. So actually we have inverted the colors of this image. So yeah, so we have loaded this image into an, uh, an, an umpire array and then we have inverted. Even we have did some image analysis like image manipulations, like converting it to a grayscale. So okay, for example, this is the main image what we have loaded so we have converted into a gray image and <coughs> multiple multiple we have done so let's uh, go into this the starting we need to uh, have the basics first and then we will be going into the use cases how we will be handling it so this is the starting uh, note notebook file you can just download it and then uh, eventually upload the, a notebook file to our uh, Google Drive and then open it. Uh, it will open in Google Collab and uh, just 
everything else we have added there will be uh, one image you can just add into a data folder so that we will be using for uh, our uh, analysis with numpy oh, yeah. so uh, like the way i have did here the same thing now so let's start so now the starting point is so just go start first we have to uh, import statements yeah. import numpy we are using it as a numpy as np so we are using alias so again we have imported blackboard dot pipeboard as part this we will plot some data or later so from scipy scipy already has said actually it is used for doing scientific calculations is one of the again most famous library uh, for doing any scientific calculations from that we are actually importing uh, one msc so it is just an image of our it contains so that's to do analysis like uh, load this misc into numpy array and on top of that we will be doing analysis and if uh, we are giving a uh, directly some image from outside uh, some uh, any image so this is uh, uh, then we, we need to use this library pill library from pill we are importing image uh, method you can say now now this is actually uh, a three-dimensional array uh, you can see it's a powerful n-dimensional array so but before that how to create a one-dimensional array uh, so again array is nothing but we already see it's just like a list of uh, uh, type so type and list we already seen So this is the so Python list or pandas and a mix of strings. It is called a one-dimensional array. What we have seen already, and the an n-dimensional array is like a two-dimensional array. Is like uh, the matrix what we have already uh, did in our lower classes. So uh, that also we'll see. But uh, what if a bunch of matrices stacked up one another? So let's we have a beautiful if. So this is uh, one-dimensional. And this is a two dimensional array. What if uh, we have stacked one, two, three, like three, uh, uh, three matrices on top of one, one another? So it is called three dimensional array. So, <coughs> so let's create uh, one by one, one dimensional array. The first thing is like uh, numpy. So uh, to create, it just numpy np dot array in my array. So again, the same thing we already used shape. Uh, in pandas, here also the same. So here we have only, if you see, there is a only one row. There is array is only one dimensional. It means uh, like only four elements are there. And there is no uh, any other element like there is no column actually. So generally uh, in pandas, what we do, uh, it's like it will give a number of rows and number of columns, right? So here we have only one row, and there is I want to say only one uh, like in one row only four elements are there. But there are no columns for the one dimensional array. So, so it's just like a, a column of a panda data frame, single column. We have multiple uh, values in single data frame, but we have no, not there. So now if I just want to access the same way how we have accessing list, it again 0, 1, 2 index. So using index, uh, we are accessing the element.
We have to stay this for a long time. Yes, I should just run this. I think there is some issue with uh, Google runtime only. Let me just reload it. Yeah, so we have created the shape four comma. There is nothing, so we have only one dimension shape and so we are accessing the same four elements. Now it's like uh, the dimensions and name is the um, when to say attribute when we call the attribute of this array we are getting a one dimensional array. So now the second is like creating two dimensional array. So here we have two rows and four columns if you carefully observe so two rows so we are just giving in square brackets and build out array square brackets two rows and four columns so array two days arrays two dimensions shape is two comma four and it has two rows and four columns so we are just printing it array it's just like a matrix so if you see here now if i just want to access a third value in the second row second row so 0 1 index second row and it's like 0 1 2 so i want to get 7 so so carefully observe we have to keep in mind the index starts from 0 not 1 So it's again a similar kind of stuff what we did for list slicing and everything. So it's like uh, the first uh, we have just given a zero is like first row and we are accessing all the elements like. So now this is very important so what we did till now we have created one dimensional array which is called vectors and two dimensional array which is called uh, matrices so dimensions of axis so the first axis has length two and the second axis has length four So this is what we already did. So the same uh, we have given a screenshot. So now an array three dimensional or higher it is generally referred to as tensor. So there is another library which is called the in Python TensorFlow, which is a very popular machine learning uh, library, or it is called as a tool. So it simply refers to n dimensional array so yeah uh, in machine learning uh, mainly we work on multiple n dimensional arrays and vectors so so that's why it got name as tensorflow so because it it has worked mainly on uh, multiple n dimensional arrays so generally uh, so for that we need to very clear about our basics so how exactly an n-dimensional array uh, looks like 
and it should be in uh, uh, we need to be very careful uh, when are we imagining that so let's go back so here are the same thing so we are creating an array and if you see carefully uh, we are creating uh, there is array np dot array so square bracket uh, we have given a uh, two list uh, but that is kept in a square bracket and that all is kept under again in a uh, square bracket left so this square bracket is up to here but this main square bracket is up to here so not all are the square bracket so it's like uh, from one to here this is the first axis from uh, this to this this brown and um, saying brown brown to brown is again uh, brown to brown square bracket is the second axis and blue to this blue is again is a third axis So now we are created so we will see how exactly this dimensions are and how the shape it actually gives so now it's saying whenever we are calling a ending on this it's actually three dimensions it's having three dimensions now what exactly the shape is so we have for example if i just taking this green color bracket to green color bracket and I am considering this as only one element. So, how many elements are there? There are three, uh, three elements, right? And in the second uh, bracket, second brown bracket to brown bracket, this is uh, a second axis where we are having two squares, A, uh, for example, this and this. It is like we are having two elements from brown bracket to brown bracket. So the main uh, green color brackets, for example, we have three elements. If you consider everything as one, like all this inside, uh, one, two, three, and uh, next level is second axis. So we consider it two level, and the next is a third level. Third level we are having the blue square bracket the blue square bracket we are having one two three four so there are four uh, uh there is a four elements you can say for the third axis like four elements so for the first axis we are having three elements and for the second axis we are having uh, two elements and for the third axis we are having four elements So this is uh, very carefully we need to observe. So this is the main uh, foundation block uh, for uh, any further uh, analysis in uh, NumPy. So now if I just want to uh, access third element. So here we have given, uh, try to access the value 18 in the last line of the code. So this is, yeah, this element we need to get. So. Uh, without looking at the code how we can go so it is like it is in first uh, i want to say first axis one two three third uh, third element All right first axis third element and in the second it is in second uh, element and in the third axis it is at Fourth element. This is one uh, because its index starts from zero, so it is like uh, this zero, one, this everything we consider as zero, everything considered as a one, everything considered as two. So my array second. So in the first axis, I need to go to third element this third element is this one total in the third element 
on the second axis, I need to go to second element. So 0, 1. And here I need to go to fourth element. So 0, 1, 2, 3. It should be 2, 3, 1. So uh, now there is what uh, the, this we got it. So now try to return one dimensional vector with the values so 9702.8. So there's nothing but uh, it seems to just like a lost column, like uh, just we have seen, right? So it's like uh, first axis, third element, and second axis. So, uh, second element and we need to we need to what we need to get everything so we we are not slicing it out so just two comma one comma a column if you given we will get the total uh, what are having this one so now retrieve three by two matrix with the values zero four It's like if, uh, if you carefully observe, this is like uh, this one, 0, 4, 7, 5, 5, 97. So it is like a uh, first element uh, for every uh, axis. So it's like the third axis, it's like first element. So how we will be retrieving? Uh, so again, uh, we are taking all the axis, and then we are taking the next axis, everything, and then we are taking first element. Of this uh, third axis, so first element, third axis, first element, third axis, first element in the third axis, first element in the third axis. So we got. So, taking all that and we are taking only uh, first element. So if I just change the one, we will get a second element. So, if you see just 1, 5, 8, 6, 1, 30, 6, 0. So this is how uh, this is array, so higher dimensions. So why we need to understand this? So let me give you an example what we will be seeing later. So this is a We are loading an uh, image, so what have you heard of from science space? So we are just showing that image how it uh, there. So now we are loading uh, that image. But what it is saying, it is actually what it is saying. An array is displaying, it's not an uh, image. So here we have uh, plotted uh, using matplotlib im show, but, but what exactly it is displaying? It is displaying uh, as an array, but we are not sure what, how much dimension it is there. So generally, what is the type? It is like numpy and dimensional array. So now if I just check it, So it is a uh, okay, dimension, it is a three dimensional array. So it is like uh, if you see 768, 1024, and 3. So the first axis is having 768 elements, and the second axis is having around 1024 elements, and in that 1024 elements, uh, the third axis is having finally 3. Uh, three. So 
so this uh, uh, for example this actually represents the resolution so it's like 760 at by 1024 and 3 is like uh, rgb values like these are our rgb values so depending on the dots uh, uh, what at which value these are so yeah so this is why it is important to learn uh, this uh, dimensions this is what it is so generally the every image is an rgb image is created with the help of uh, rgb only like uh, red green blue oh, and dots only so but how how it is uh, verified uh, uh, this is the value so all the this is called pixels where we have the pixels so depending on the uh, using our uh, depend different different uh, numpy uh, arrays we can actually do the uh, image uh, modifications also so whatever if i just open file name and this one this we will see again tomorrow or uh, next uh, what another section is like so again if you see uh, this shape in this three dimensional again so rgb will be constant but here the this image resolution is 5 5 uh, i need to say 5, 533 to 799 so let's see uh, what exactly is it matching with uh, that or not so i have this one i'm taking properties Oh, size not size I want I want details so yeah pixels yeah. the dimensions if you see so the every image whenever we load in to a numpy it is actually considered as an, a numpy array let's go back Now I hope uh, we understand uh, what exactly and dimensional arrays are. So why it is very important to know. So this is one example, but uh, it has a very uh, different different applications also. But yeah, you can use uh, modify any image using a numpy also. now there are a few mini challenges so we already mentioned so yeah now we already did what exactly how it is behaving our three-dimensional array numpy has many yeah because numpy is very vast library but it's not uh, we don't need to go into everything but they just come for common use cases yeah, on your own data science journey. So if you are going towards a data science journey, you can just focus on our, your use cases and know the basics, and then you can just implement accordingly. So now we need to use arrange to create uh, values from ranging from 10 to 29. You should get uh, 10 from to here. So this is very simple. Just we need to, instead of array, we just calling arrange and 10 to 39 so it uh, don't take higher uh, limit so 10 to so we'll get uh, this one so create an array containing only last three values of an uh, a we create a subset only with four five six values we create a subset containing all the values except the first one so and create a so that only contains even number that is every second number so it's a very simple right last three values so the it's uh it's straightforward the python uh, slicing techniques only so it's just a minus three so what it will be it takes only last three values so now just uh, you want a four five six so index index is like four five six so it's like 
थ्री फोर फाइव तो थ्री टू सिक्स वॉट इज द फोर्थ वैल्यू जीरो वन टू थ्री सबसे ओनली फोर फाइव सिक्स ओके जीरो वन टू थ्री सो इफ इंडेक्स इज थ्री इट इज लाइक फोर्थ वैल्यू फिफ्थ वैल्यू सिक्स वैल्यू लाइक थ्री फोर फाइव so this is uh, the uh, upper interval it won't take so we should do that again uh, the first all value is 12 column so we will get only 12 so sorry i want to say from 12 it starts so yeah. what if you want to first all so it's like Here we got the first one. If we just want after the twelve, what are the values? So just we are slicing it out. Except first one, we are having. Yeah. So this is again a double dot, a double column notation. So it takes uh, like for every second element. So. Every second value, all the even numbers. Okay. Yeah. It starts from ten and then goes to twelve. So it's like uh, skipping two two at a time. So the increment uh, order like and uh, goes to next. If I just change to three. This one, but if I just change back to one, it it should display everything. Ten to twenty nine, it has displayed. Now the reverse order. So this is again numpy beginner, right? So either uh, we can just. Use flip option. Okay, what's the name? So this is basic uh, operations. So just so the name of the name flip operations. Uh, for example, uh, we have this array. If uh, you can just reverse it, it should be uh, this one. So if I just uh, check our array, now ten to nine. If I just flip it out and put out flip here, now it's like ten twenty nine to ten. Either we can do like this, or we can just uh, use uh, double dot notation minus one. Again, uh, we have covered up to fourth challenge only. Yeah, arrange we have covered. Yeah, slicing we have covered. Yeah, now by beginner scale flip option we have covered. And the final thing uh, for today is we need to get non-zero elements. So directly numpy we have direct. we we are having n per n per dot non zero of b so we can directly get non zero slot okay okay 
so what we are getting we are getting indices of this non zero so we just uh, go to numpy non zero So it returns actually indices of the elements that are non zero. So, for example, if I just go back uh, to our notebook, so here uh, 6 is having at the first index, so it is 0, 0th index, and 1, 2 at second index, 9 is there, 3, 4, 5 at fifth index, 5 is there, and 6 index is there. What if, if I just want uh, to change this to 1? And if I just run our indices should increase. Yeah. At set six index there is a non-zero number. Yeah. This everything we need to know to how how exactly we need we will be using. Yeah, for example, again at this time I will be showing one example. So I think we have used a flip uh, to flip the colors or a flip, I meant to say, to flip the image. So before uh, it is to be uh, this image, this image actually by using flip option, we can actually turn it to 180 degrees because we are actually changing the dimensions. So that's how simple uh, it is using. So it's just for, not for our uh, simple image uh, modifications, but uh, this is a very scientific reasons again. These are used in some medical diagnosis to analyze images. NumPy is one of the very useful tool uh, to do medical analysis. Uh, another use case uh, to do, for example, if you want to verify a cancer, to detect a cancer of, uh, for example, there is a brain tumor cancer. There are brain scans. So, how we, you will be detecting like uh, using uh, different different uh, image techniques using numpy uh, you will be detecting so you will be loading that image and you will be doing some uh, modifications around uh, uh, this uh, values the images and uh, using that uh, you will be inverting for example if i'm just in this into this colors into nato nato's shade so native scale so yeah there there is something you can detect uh it, it can identify some plot or depending on different different techniques with the emperor so, uh, is, that's how they do analysis so it, it is useful for very uh, research oriented uh, studies also numpy so yeah this one of the very uh useful library so yeah it is very for data science it is one of the main library you can say so we should get we should know everything about numpy at least basics and how how the dimensional uh, dimensions works like dimensional arrays works and dimensional arrays works i think that's it for today uh, thank you